Oh, hi there, you beautiful people of that humble internet. Ah. My name is Rhyme, aka The Rhyme Man, and welcome to another installment of Rhyme Man's Bizarre Adventures in Kato Shoujo. When life has been crazy and hectic, when you're caught up in the grind that is Hell Divers 2. And you just get done squeezing out everyone in extraction and nabbing that five star rating while securing all those damn samples. Some people like to unwind by doing an easier mission. I unwind by continuing on S tier levels of visual novels. Last time that we were here. <laughs> Liz! <laughs> Last time we were here, we were sitting in front of Debussy. <laughs> we were sitting in front of the door for Soleil de Bus. <laughs> Sol Soleil de Bus. <laughs> oh my god. I'm in my 30s and that has brought me to tears. That has cracked me up so much. I am, f I am doomed for this life. <clears throat> Watch these videos as an example of kids of what not to be. <clears throat> She moves towards the door on her right. I see the lettering on the right before she opens it, indicating it's the music room. What did I do for your voice? It was something Lily, Lily related. Maybe not, uh, maybe not as quite, uh, fuck it. It'll only take a minute. I hope I'm not keeping you from anything. Helldivers 2, Miss Saki. Democracy needs me. Don't worry. I have nowhere else to be, really. Kenji would make for a fantastic Helldiver. Saki pulls open the door before I have a chance to open it for her, and quickly slips inside. I use the brief lull to look around and take in my surroundings. The corkboard on the wall next to me draws my attention, and I choose to study it for a few seconds. Even, even Texas is getting in on that fight. We got, we got to move on. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm just a fat man. That explains the hiccups. It looks like the festival is mentioned about half a dozen times. It seems that everyone in the school is getting involved in one way or another. And I guess it'll, it only makes sense that the performing arts department would be just as involved as any other class. True to, her, true to her word, after about 30 seconds, I hear the door open again next to me. Saki comes back out again, cane in one hand, and a case in the other. Got what you came for? She nods happily, and we start back towards the, the entrance to the building. When we get to the door, instead of holding it open for her, I get another idea that I, I mentally kick myself for not having earlier. Would you like me to carry that for you? Are you sure? No problem. You're showing me how to get it to, to the art room. It's the least I can do, right? Thank you. It weighs more than I expected, but then again, I don't exactly have a, a frame of reference. My man Hassau has not been to the weight room in a while. How much should one of these weigh? I put the question idly in the back of my mind while we start making our way back across the campus. Alright, I'm gonna level with you. Oh, didn't mean for that button. And it... It took so much strength and restraint to read that line normally 
if 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 you're if you're a veteran of me doing these readings, you know what was probably expecting when I started uttering the words making our way. I am hopeless, children. Hopeless. So, Hisao, you said this is your third day at Yamaku. How do you like it so far? It's different. It's a lot uh, to take in at once, uh, I guess. Between moving to and having to deal with uh, Shizune and Misha running me ragged. Oh. It's those two. <laughs> You know them? Trust me, those two are known all over the school. Anyone uh, on the same side of the school as Misha knows she's there. And wherever she is, Shizune is too. I can't imagine why anyone on would be able to recognize that Misha's in their vicinity. Can't be the fact that she's <laughs> everywhere. -ing. Everywhearing. I just said the word everywhearing. Maybe I should start drinking. Maybe that. Maybe I need to stop raw dogging reality. I would probably get smarter. I found myself laughing before I can stop it. She completely nailed Misha there. But it does present another question. Well, Misha is a given. But how do you know Shizune if uh, you aren't in our class? I have to deal with her from time to time when we uh, do different events through the year, like the festival. She means well, but the way she tries to inject her herself into everything can be very... taxing. I had a few different words in mind, but that's one of the nicer ways of putting it. I'm starting to like Saki already! Just be careful, or before you know it, you'll be in on the student... <laughs> there was a fucking gnat that tried to enter my mouth! It, it went away, it's gone, oh my god. <laughs> what was that sound that came out of my mouth? It sounded like I was starting to turn... <laughs> Into Daffy Duck or something. <laughs> I am so glad I am at least amused by my own shit. Someone has to be. You have no idea. Uh-oh. Is she already trying to sink her claws into you? Or... <laughs> You should know it's going to get worse before it gets better. That girl loves a challenge. So I've noticed. The next few minutes pass by with idle chit-chat. I asked Saki about the festival, since I'm new and it's coming up fast. Also, it seems to be a really big deal for everyone. For some people it is. Others couldn't care less. I guess it depends on the moods of the people who go to school here and the ones that come during it. What do you mean? Honestly, I probably wouldn't go uh, at all if it, we weren't performing. I was there the last two years, and while it was fun, uh, I don't know the best way to describe it. She slows down uh, for a second and looks off back in the direction we came, almost to see if there was someone behind us as she lowers her voice. It's the school, Hisao. More, more the guests themselves, really. We put on the festival because it's a normal thing to do, and most of the people that show up are fine, but there are others who are, who just... The same lock of hair has slipped down again. She reaches up to tuck it back uh, while she collects her thoughts. When she speaks again, her voice takes on a matter-of-fact tone. Yamako isn't a normal school, and those and those people that go out of their way so hard to make us feel normal. The worst ones are the ones who pat themselves on the back for coming, showing that they're concerned, and that they're so progressive just for showing up. Ah! 
Oh, the uh, the conversation's going to get deep with Saki. <laughs> you can see it in their eyes. Well, everyone's getting in on this. We got places to go, Saki. <laughs> you can see it in their eyes, the way they talk, even the way they move. It's smug, and it's just uh, sickening. Her words give me pause, not because of the, their frank nature, but because of the way they strike a, a chord deep within me. She just summed up and put into words the nagging feeling I, I've had, uh, I had sensed during my stay in the hospital, a feeling and attitude that I started to get from my friends when they came to visit me. Something I couldn't pinpoint, something out of reach, something, but something that felt wrong. Sorry. I guess I didn't realize how dark that got. Don't mind me. Those people are pretty far and few between. Miss, if you don't mind me saying, that is not dark. And if that is your description on a dark conversation, oh my sweet summer child. Oh, the, I've, there's such sights to show you. Shall we keep going? We're almost there. Without me realizing we were where we were going, I find we're almost back to the entrance of the main building. Please don't tell me it's in here. <laughs> yep, it's upstairs. Why? So my classroom. So is, oh, so is my classroom. Well, I suppose the walk was refreshing. You got to see more of the school, at least. She put such a nice way of, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm surprised with how empty the building seems to be. Every time I've been through here, it's been bustling with faculty and staff. But there's only one or two people wandering about. Everyone uh, must want to leave the classrooms as quickly as possible after the final bell rings, or head off to any clubs that aren't in this building. I start to turn towards the elevator when Saki surprises me. She's making a beeline for the stairs, as if she was completely oblivious to its existence. I'm wondering it's because no one wanted to be bothered drawing the elevators. <laughs> With deliberate practice motion, she places her right hand on the banister and starts up them, slowly but surely. Ah, wait, I know, because I never remember, like, any reference to elevators before, but I wonder if the elevators are there for the gator girl. Yes, I just made a reference to I want to hug the gator. <laughs> I just recently did a Land of the Free episode on that, and it's, uh... It's gotten a more, more attention than most other of my videos, so... I may have to actually do a playthrough of I Wanna Hug the Gator. This is not a joke. This is not a meme. It is. It is not. It like uh, that game is now actually on my list of. It's probably going to possibly happen. Yes, it's a category. Shut up. She uses a cane for balance as she uh, lifts it on the one step. Followed by a foot, and then repeating the process with the opposite leg. Okay, I'm just gonna get- I'm going to get this out of my system right now. It's- it's going to happen. It'll- it'll- the moment- let the- let the moment just happen, and we will never mention it again. <clears throat> Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be going out the door. Yes, I know I'm a horrible person. Yes, I know that song probably dates me. <laughs> Oof. It's not until she's in a, on the midway landing and turning to look at me that I realize I've been staring. My face flushes red in embarrassment. Buto and Yuko's words replaying themselves in my head. You coming? In another minute or so. One, that was a horrible joke. Two, more... <laughs> it's more people going in for the dive! 
she says choosing to purposely overlook or ignore my transgression. The knowing grin on her face suggests that it's the former. She waits with her, her hand still on the banister, looking at me with a mischievous sparkle in her eyes. When I turn uh, my face away from her, she giggles slightly. <laughs> I can now hear the comments being typed out, Ryan, I never want to hear you giggle like that ever again. I'm sorry, it's just... You're new here? It's okay. Everyone needs some time to adjust here. And I don't mean just to the school. I'm sorry for teasing you, but when I saw your face like that, I couldn't help it. Does that happen often? Walking up the stairs? Yeah, every day. Once in a while, but usually only once. Just don't ask me to go hiking behind the school. Stairs aren't that difficult, just slow. We both reach the top at about the same time, which sums up in the, into the now familiar hallway. Down to the right is my classroom, and down to the left is where Saki points. This way, furthest door down on the left. Great. Sure it took the long road in getting here. Are we about to get an interaction between his between his of course between his between Miss Saki and Rin the Collector? I think we missed her eating with her feet. And I can see the look of puzzlement and horror on some of your faces when I just uttered that sentence. Ah! And it tastes delicious. Not as delicious as what's in this, uh, in this thermos that I'm sipping from. What are you drinking, Ryan? Well, it depends who wants to pay me money. One day I will get that as a flavor for gamer subs. I don't know. <laughs> yes, but if you didn't take the long way, you would have made me carry all that. You, you would have made me carry that thing all by myself. What's in here, anyway? My violin. I'm also in a band. And the art club? That seems like it would uh, be quite the schedule. I like to keep myself busy. Besides, it's fun and it helps. Helps with what? I'm that... Okay, I'm that kind of asshole where... I'm not really that big of an asshole. But I ask things aggressively where people think I'm being an asshole. <laughs> and so this would not be an inner thought. This would have been out loud. Like, right away. It was like, helps with what? <laughs> and I would have had that, like infamous puzzled look on my face when I asked that to help show people I'm being sincere. But it's me, so it still would have come out as aggr weirdly aggressive. <laughs> it's like that It's like that uh, one interview Bill Burr was doing, right? With, with some guy, and they're talking about autism. <laughs> and Bill Burr, he's not a bad guy. But he comes off as super aggressive. So he looks at this. At, he looks at this guy. I don't know if anyone knows what which interview I'm talking about. But he's like, "Why is that? Why is that clock there? Like ten to six or whatever time that was? Is that like an autism thing?" The guy looks over. So he's like, "Yeah." And Bill Burr just comes out with it. It's like, "What the fuck even is autism?" <laughs> And he wasn't being mean! He wasn't being mean! He was asking a legitimate question, but he just came off as super aggressive. And unfortunately, that's how I am. So that would have been me in this situation. She, she, Miss Saki would have been like, it helps. And there's me. With, with my already, like, horrifically angry looking default face. With the, my eyes would squint, my eyebrow would come up a little bit, and I would go, helps with what? <laughs> oh. There's no help for me in this world. 
That's the last thing I think to myself as she reaches the door and opens it. Show me feet! We're not going to see Rin eating with her feet. It looks like that is the end of this episode. <laughs> I just gave so many people a, the sound clip of the century. Like, show me feet! <laughs> well, I've been recording this for about 20 or so minutes. I'm trying to not make all these episodes like half hour to an hour long so we'll end it here we'll have something else to keep coming back to yay do i remember yes i remember how to save there we go it's the save slot right next to the bursi <laughs> i hope you guys had a wonderful time i know i certainly did but that's because i can entertain myself with anything it, it helps being mentally impaired it's good for something anyway all that usual goodness, the liking, the subscribing, the commenting down below. It sounds incredibly stupid for a grown adult to say these things, but YouTube's bots and the whole YouTube algorithm thing really likes when that stuff happens. And I'm not talking about just the interactions themselves. I'm talking about even mentioning the words. It helps because it helps to uh, get this to an even broader audience. Let's end it. Stay awesome out there, everybody. Adios.